record on this computer. Yeah, I think I needed to, this, this was it. Woohoo! Okay, good, we're back in business, okay. Now, um, when you're recording this meeting, okay, we're just, we're just gonna pull this all the way off here. Um, so let's go ahead and get started now that we're officially, that took a while to get the technology um, figured out, but uh, my name is Professor Barron, um, and you are, you signed up for a public health class. Um, what I want to do tonight is I want to do a couple of things. We're going to have our introductions, so I'm going to talk a little bit about um, what, what we're going to be covering in this class. And um, I'm going to have you actually meet each other um, and talk to each other. So then when you're talking to each other online, you're like, oh yeah, I met that person. So you're going to put a little bit of face to it. There's a syllabus in the back. Um, and there's also a syllabus online. And if you, right now, if you're signed in, um, you're, it's okay for you to right, right now go to, your, um, to this class right here that says hybrid. Go ahead and pull that up because I'm going to be referring to that. And um, the syllabus that I printed out in paper for you guys is in the back, and I'm going to be going over that. And then I'm going to go over all the, the ins and outs of how this is set up. What I've noticed is that um, white, part of the reason why I'm really happy to have the face-to-face -face today is because I've noticed that sometimes people jump onto the online class and it happens quickly. It's intense, right? You, every week you've got to get some time. And if you don't, if you're not dialed in, you start to lose track and you're like, whoa, I was supposed to do that. So I want to go over all that here. Um, then I'm going to go over um, field trips and opportunities for you to possibly jump in with the day class. Um, Cause we're going to have a field trip to the health department. And then, um, I have some guest speakers coming in that I'm going to record, but if you can make it during the day, you're welcome to come into my day class too. There's probably some policy against that somewhere. So just don't, I right at this point, I don't see why not. You're enrolled in this class. You want to show up to my day class. That's great. Okay. Um, then I'm going to dive into chapter one and chapter two, and we're literally going to move through module week one together. And you're going to get all your homework done tonight and everything done tonight. Then um, each week, you're going to see the same thing every week. I'm going to post a video module that's not as long as this. Okay, this is, good. This is going to be like an hour and a half. Um, and it's going to be a big amount of video. But when I post the videos, it's going to be like 20 minutes getting you dialed in. And then you're going to jump into discussion items and assignments. Okay. So um, let's talk let, just about me. So I set up a profile. And hopefully you'll set up a profile tonight too if you haven't done it already. And if you check out my profile, here's a little bit about, my, about me. I, um, my background is I have a master's in public health and I have a doctorate in um, education. And for about 20 years, I worked out in Kern County and I was a, a grant developer. So, and I also did program development and evaluation. So I was the person who would look to see where the health disparities were and where the gaps were in our community, and then right to find money to bring it in. And I, cause I think money is big in making changes in health, way into that. And actually the social justice class is gonna go into that. Oh, is it, what's wrong? Yes. Oh, you can't, oh good, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, so money is big, but then I realized um, we could bring in millions and millions of dollars into Kern County and Never make any change if no one knows what public health is. We don't have a public health program in Kern County. There's nothing in this area that is public health science um, as far as a degree. If you go up and down the state of, um, of California, you'll see public health programs up and down the state. But yet Kern, when you look at their statistics, have some of the worst statistics in, in California. So someone starts, I was so excited when BC decided to do a public health science class that I decided to change jobs mid-career and stop the grant development and jump over here. Because I thought, if there's one of me, that's one thing. But if I could, we could get like 60 of people championing public health, whether in nursing, whether you become a doctor, whether you're an administrator, whether you're a communications person, you, you'll, you'll see that you can make a difference and you can start to be like, oh, 
I need to pay attention to that. And you'll get what, where you can voice and make a difference. Okay. So I have all my links up here, um, Allied Public Health, and I passed out this um, public health science um, degree. And I'm going to, um, the video is way down there. So hopefully you guys are watching it. Um, I passed this out because uh, there's, a, for the first time, we have an associate science transfer degree at BC. And this will go to the CSUs and transfer over. And then the second thing we're starting in the summer is a certificate of achievement in public health. And I've been working with the community partners and they've told me that they are looking to both send back employees to get the certificate of achievement, but also this will be something that they're gonna look at. So take a look at this. And this course, by the way, is um, CSU transferable and one of the requirements for um, the certificate. Okay, so these are all the links. Now, what I would like to do is um, I would like for you um, to find someone you don't know, which I think, do you guys, anyone know each other? Okay, cool. Um, find someone you don't know. Um, introduce yourself. Tell them what your major is and tell them what you think we're going to cover in this class. Okay, because I, I kind of want to see what you think we're going to hit and what we're going to do in this class. So find one person right now. Get it. That means you might have to get up. Or you might just turn to the person. So find, 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 Stella, find somebody. Oh, no, no, no. Go in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. But you can do, you can do three, too. <laughs> and I'm going to see if the, the, um, Okay, guys, so you can see that um, this is the class right here. Actually, you can't see. It's just me. Hi. They're doing introductions. And um, if you want to, which would be really cool, if you want to jump on chat and introduce yourself. So introduce yourself to the class. What is your major? name of course and um what do you think we are going to cover in this class and i'm going to go walk around now and if you can't hear me for some reason then you need to, to raise your hand or something or tell me in chat so go ahead and jump on chat if you don't know where it is look down below by your shared screen So, um, Brittany, Tiffany, Flo, um, Jody, yes. I recognize you. What's your name? Angelica. Angelica, hello. Allie, hi. Connie. Connie. Yeah. What? So Stella, I know you. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Yaritza. Yaritza, great. It's beautiful. What's that? Paulina, nice to meet you. Okay, great. So um, what I did is that you guys introduced yourself. Um, 
How many of you guys are nursing majors? Just out of curiosity, raise your hand. So four people raise their hand. How many of um, our public health majors? Raise your hand. Yay! Okay. Um, <laughs> and then um, how many of you are going to go for the certificate of achievement thing? Okay, cool. How many um, biology majors in here? Good. Great. What are the other majors I missed? Perfect. And then one of the things in public health is that um, you can uh, probably the probably the best paying positions are in the CEO's administrative track. So people don't really talk about that, but it goes like it's like the public health side and then it moves on to this administration side too. So Esperanza is on and this is sometimes when I do the Zooms, every week I'm gonna have like a little Zoom and you could do like a chat feature. And so Esperanza has introduced herself. She's a nursing major and, um, and uh, she's gonna do nursing and public health. And I believe we will cover a bit, a little bit about health in the population. So what do you guys think we're gonna cover? What do you think we're gonna hit on? Yeah. I assume that we will hit on like disease yeah so we'll be doing a lot about infectious disease what else do you think tiffany same thing yeah so just in a, in a if you could think about it, there basically um there's a lot of there's we're going to hit on the three big things of public health but there's there are basically three different branches of my mind of public health we have the infectious disease we have the um environmental health piece that's huge and then we have the whole group of people that are into like health communication and health um, awareness and the kind of getting outreach and getting clinics, okay? And so that's your administrative side too. So, um, so you nailed it. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit those kind of topics. Um, so um, that's right, I can't minimize this. So I'm gonna put this over here and over here. So what, how it's gonna be, so we got that we hit this. So now let's go over the syllabus. Um, go ahead and take the syllabus and, and um, pull that out. So I'm pulling up the syllabus right now, and I clicked on it. And let's see here, it should be still shared screen. Okay. And good. Okay. Good. All right, so um, so let's let's look over the syllabus. Everyone should have a syllabus in front of them. Um, and I, put a, I think I put a, a bunch of them back there. Yeah, let me grab one from back. That's cool. I like to move around anyway. Um, so basically, the classes that belong to oh, did I my own? Oh, I don't know. Okay, great. So basically, the class is going to be um, you've got the instructor information. Okay. Um, you, we have my office hours. Uh, oh, it's handy when it comes. Okay. We have my office hours, in which are 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. On, on Monday, Wednesday, and 3 to 4. Come in, and what you could do is you could ping me anytime during those times, and I'll be sitting in my office, and you could say, I don't get this, or you could canvas message me, or we could have a virtual um, where I can share a screen with you and show you something, or uh, talk and chat, and you have questions. Um, what I typically do is I like to pick a time and then I do it, I'll put it during my office hours where I'll always have virtual office hours. I'm thinking three to four on Tuesday where we can zoom in and then I'll record it and if you missed it, you can watch it later. And what I found is, is that the people who dial into that um, and watch that are never lost in the class, okay? Um, my preference is that, um, that you use Canvas to message me the textbook let's talk about that how many of you guys got your textbook this is the textbook you should all have this this is it you could use the used version of it or you could do the new version of it you do not need electronic access for this book okay the reason is is that um i post everything on canvas and so we're going to talk about that i'm going to show you how that works um next so we talked about course descriptions um, and what you're going to learn, we're going to learn about public health. I'm going to give you really tasks to think about, population. Um, 
So you're going to see that, that we're going to really focus in on those. Um, as far as policies, I think it's really important that you know that um, you have five quizzes and I'm going to be dropping one. So know that you can always have one quiz that will drop. Um, as far as makeup tests, don't, there aren't because I've built, if you see how the grading system is, if you miss something, but yet you participate in the rest of the class, you're fine, right? It's not like 50% is going all in one direction. So we'll talk about that. So you, if you miss something, you just need to keep moving forward. How many of you guys have Microsoft Word on your computers? You need it. If you don't, download it because you will be, um, you will be submitting things on, in Word and in PowerPoint, not in Pages. And I provide a free link, a link where you can download everything. Um, here's the face-to-face. -face. Now, here's the story. I'm recording this. There are 30 something, there are 30 people in this class. Do you see 30 people here? No. Um, so I'm recording this because some people are, are out of the area. They're in Fresno or different parts, even parts of the United States. They probably thought hybrid. I'll be okay. They will be because I'm using technology. Um, the face-to-face, -face, I'm going to get you dialed in. March 6th and May 1st are, are, are graded items. So if you can't make it face-to-face, -face, I'm going to have to arrange a time where um, someone's, we're going to have to do something virtually or I'm going to have to arrange something special um, for each. And I don't think I could do it for all 25 people. So I'm going to put things out there where we can collectively use that. Um, but March 6th is going to be a midterm presentation. So already I'm starting to think about this midterm presentation that you could do things virtually. I could put you in groups where you could do things um, using the web to do a group presentation. So, and if you get stuck with the technology, I'll, I'll um, be here to help you. But that way I can, I can get you dialed in, okay? So think of that. May 1st is a poster presentation. And with May 1st, I pretty much, unless you live in Oregon or completely are out of the county, I want to do, uh, I want it to be in here and I'm not gonna be virtually Zooming it. It's a cumulative project. And I'm gonna be talking about that. It, I'm basically gonna have you do a research presentation where you present a poster in class. So um, for those who live way out of the area, we need to talk and we need to figure it out what that is. But you could see January 16th, I accommodated. March 6th, I'll accommodate. May 1st, I need you guys to be present for the poster presentation, okay? Um, and then if for some reason you live out of the geographical area, I'll work with people individually. Because um, I can't make someone from Georgia fly in. I don't, I don't want to do that. Um, or anywhere else that's way far away. Um, let's see here. If someone doesn't participate in this class this week, like if you didn't show up to this class, to the face-to-face -face today, or um, you didn't sign in, you didn't do any activity whatsoever in the hybrid class, after one week, I'm supposed to drop you. So you showing up today shows me that you're participating. People are gonna be looking at this later, recorded. Um, they're gonna be participating electronically, and I can see it on my end, how, people, how much time someone spends on the web. I have a page where I can see people and I can see time. So like, um, you know, someone spent five minutes in the class, that doesn't, you know, that's not participation. But if I see that someone's been participating, you're very much, you're showing up virtually, okay? Um, so let's see here. Let's talk about grading. So if you move back out, what I've done is, is that everything is right there. It's weighted. So um, discussion and um, online class assignments are worth 10%. Um, so I'm going to be doing every week, I'm going to have a discussion item. This week, you're here. Okay. If someone didn't show up, I'm going to be posting this video as a recording, and then they would have to participate to get the credit for being, uh, not being here. But so they'll virtually participate. But you being here today, you, you, I'm just going to put it in the grade book. You're done. Okay. Um, chapter on reviews online. I'll show you how those work. There'll be five quizzes. One will drop. And then a midterm exam, final exam, which will be virtual. 
and then poster presentation, which I want to have face to face, and we'll figure that out at the very end. Okay, so you can see the theme here is that I'm going to be working with you on this. Um, so what I'd like to do right now is I'd like you to to um, to take a, go ahead and click into your modules. So if you're at home, go ahead and click into um, the modules here, and go ahead and. And how many of you have completed everything in the module number one? Go ahead and do it right now. Start right now. So what, what you need to do is you need to click in to the module and you need to move through each item. So right now, go ahead. If you've done it before, just do it, just do it again. But, um, and if you've done it before and the person next to you is like trying to figure out where to click, um, I'm going to walk around and make sure that you're good to go, but you're literally going to click through each one because what happens is that is that in order to enter this class, you have to click through each step. So here's the textbook information. Here's about the professor. Here's the, uh, the office download. And then here's where you post general questions. And this is where you could set up notifications. So you could actually get emails, text messages, all kinds of stuff on your device if you want to. And then this shows you how to set up your profile. And so when you get to the practice quiz, I'd like you to stop right there and I'd like to see who can get 100% on it. Now, you can also take this on your phone. So you could do, you're on your computers now, but if you want to, let's see if you can get 100%, get everything correct. So I'm gonna see if you guys could do that. If you already did it, you got to, if you didn't, it won't let you into the class. So how many of you have already done it? Great, okay, good. So right now, find someone who hasn't done it and, and, help, and see if you guys can answer together. So find somebody and get them 100%. Your goal is to get 100% and knock it out. Stella, did you finish? Okay, good. So right now we're taking the, the module, doing that. And so right now you should be taking the practice quiz. So we have people taking it. And here's the story, you can't enter in unless you do that. So practice. Okay. And then the last thing you should have done is you should be doing an introduction. So if you have not posted an introduction, it's a good idea to get your introduction posted. So let's see here. Is everyone get their introduction up? So make sure your introduction is up. Okay, so moving to this, let's see here, we're going to go back. So I'm going to go ahead and take this so they're not going to see it. Office, this is false. Let's show up during our office. No appointments needed. True. Where's the best place to find information on what is scheduled to do in each class? On Canvas, week by week. Uh. 
Uh-oh. Yeah. That's okay. I'll, don't worry about it. I can, I can, yeah, I can reset it. If I miss an assignment, I can contact the professor to set it up. False. So how, how, are you guys, uh, are you back in the practice module now? Okay, great. So go ahead and let's do this as a class. And um, I'm putting the answers here. So ready, question number one is everyone. False. Question number two is true. You could just show up anytime. Number three, what's the best way to, get, to see what's going on? Week by week modules. If I miss assignment, I can contact the professor to make it up. False. Here's the, here's the thing is if you miss it, you just move on. I have a no cell phone policy, but you know what? You're at home. You could do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> what percentage are chapter view assignments, everybody? 10. Good. What's the best way to contact me for any questions? Canvas or show up in my office hours. If you have a technical problem, you just take a screenshot and send it to me. And I'll allow an extension. Exactly. Because you'll see that I open things way in advance. You have tons of time. And it's stress. I, 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 I bent over backwards doing that, and it just doesn't work. It doesn't work for so many reasons. It's not fair, but also it, it just doesn't work. So if you run into any tech issues, you could contact me before the deadline. But, once, but if you wait to like five minutes before the deadline or 30 minutes before the deadline, you don't have that window frame for you to, to, tech, to tech problem solve. And let me tell you, like even now, I'm gonna use myself as an example. You saw how I was struggling in the beginning of class because I was using new technology. You know what I was thinking in the back of my head? I should have gotten here 30 minutes earlier because then I could have just problem solved. If I had been on a deadline, so sorry, you're out. That's how grants work. So. I guess we got to get used to that, that once the deadline passes, it's just done. Um, the way it scales great system, do you get the, how that works? So let's say you make 100% in uh, a category that's 20%. How much of your grade did you just earn for, for your final grade? 20%. So all those 20s add up to 100%. So if something's weighed 10%, if you make 100% in your, your quizzes, you just, want, you just got 10% of your grade. Now, um, if you get a zero in 10%, then you've knocked down your grade by 10%. So let's say you had an A. You did, did something, you did 0%, you know, and now you got 10%. So you go from 100% down to 90%. So think of it that way. It's like you're earning you're earning a percentage of your grade as you move along. Okay, so that's that's way system. Um, under the course web, um, what's commonly called, do you, know how, do you know the whole what if function? You can play with your grade. Okay, so I want you to know that. Not play with it like change it, but play with it if I get this. I can turn notifications off. Where can I, where, where can I turn them on and off? The account, so you can go up here and tell, people, tell it if you wanted to text message you every time I post a grade, or text message you when I do an announcement. If it's too much, if the emails and, and notifications are too much for you, turn them off. And then you can just go to the announcements when you get on, okay? I can get Microsoft Office for free. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, that's wrong, something happened there. Okay, so submit quit. It's the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, got it. Okay, cool. So, um, so that's the syllabus. Okay. Now, at the very end, I have um, I have like a, a guide of what we're going to be covering over each week. So, you know, um, week two, um, um, we're going to be hitting epidemiology and the infectious disease. I have a field trip planned for um, week three. You're welcome to come to it. It's at I'll send out an announcement. And um, when you get there, I'll just have you do a release form, but you can come in and meet and get a tour of the health department locally. Um, I'll have a tour of the w w wastewater treatment plant, which I is fascinating. So you might want to come to that. Um, I'm going to have an epidemiologist present in my face-to-face -face class. You can come to that if you want to. Yes. All the field trips will always be in a... Um, it will, there will always be at 1110. And um, 
and I will send out an announcement for week three. I believe that's going to be on a Monday. So it's a Monday, Wednesday class. So if you see um, February, um, the week five, it'll probably be February the 14th. We'll be going to the wastewater treatment plant. Yay, Valentine's Day. So, um, yeah. So, but I'm going to always post those well in advance so that if you want to jump in, you can. Okay. And if you work, uh, maybe you can get time off of work to go for an hour. Make it your lunch break. Okay. Um, so that's the story there. So that's the syllabus. And then the last thing I want to mention is that I have a poster presentation. And I want you to see what the directions are in the rubric on the back. So you're going to start to see this is worth 20% of your grade. You could start to get an idea of what those look like. And I want you to know that those are all posted on a website. I have a website called publichealthbaron.info. And so if you want to bookmark that for later, you can see what other classes have done. And you can get ideas for your poster project if you're one of those people who like to plan. Okay. But don't worry, I will be walking you all the way through that. So with that, um, the next thing I want to hit is um, the module. So you should all now be in week one. This is public health. Are you all there? Okay. And what I'm going to do is, um, for those people who are video streaming, I am going to um, post this later. I'm going to lecture now, and then I'm going to do a video recap of this. Um, for chapter one and chapter three, because um, it's difficult to balance between both of these, the Zoom and teaching you guys. So I'm going to teach face-to-face -face here, do a video recap that you can watch later also. For those people who are hybriding it and are virtual, you'll see that video recap. So it will be posted right here um, in this module. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have video recap of week one, okay? So Esperanza, uh, Ch uh, Charisse, I think I'm saying your name right. I'm going to unmute you guys. You want to say hello? Okay. You're going to unmute. Hi, Esperanza. Okay, hello. good. You heard me. I'm going to go ahead and sign out and do a video recap for later. All right. Okay, great. Good. So be looking for that. Do you have any questions? No. How about you, Charisse? Any questions? Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, cool. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> she just said hi, everyone. Yeah. How cool. Do you have any questions? But um, for the, where do you oh. For chapter three review, for some strange reason, that really doesn't come up. Are you on a phone or are you on your computer? I'm on my computer, but I'm streaming you on my phone. Okay, there. Okay, so when you get on your computer, make sure you're on Firefox. And I'm going to look at it tonight to make sure. Uh, Canvas likes Firefox. It doesn't like anything. So make sure after you've, you've finished streaming on your phone, um, you can actually download Firefox on your phone and open it in Firefox on your phone. Um, and if you're on a computer, do that. Okay? And I also will check it out and make sure it works. Okay? And then do you guys have any questions about the syllabus or projects that maybe Esperanza or Teresa? Yeah, hello. So the midterm, yeah, the midterm will be up to um, whatever, whatever we covered, and then the final will be cumulative. So Flo just asked about the midterm and the, and the, um, and the final, so you guys heard the answer. Midterm up to that chapter, and then the final is cumulative. Any other questions for the face-to-face -face people that you might want to ask about the syllabus, about the structuring of the class, about anything? Nope, no one's saying anything here. Okay, guys, you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and sign you guys off, okay? All right, thank you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Sure, sure. Go ahead.